Hey guys, Anthony here. It's Saturday, December 3rd, 2016, and we're here in the uh, bug out van uh, this morning. It's actually 10 after 12, so it's early afternoon here in uh, South Florida. And uh, we're here in the bug out van with a new item that I wanted that I just received. It's the Fantastic Fan, Endless Breeze Fantastic Fan, and this is going to give me the capability. The radio you hear in the background is my handheld with the new Hertz antenna. I'm just trying to test that out today. You see that here? I'll shut it off for now, but uh, I'm trying to um, see how the reception is on that um, with that handheld radio uh, and that antenna. But uh, we'll do a vi another video on that later. Getting back to the um, fantastic fan the endless breeze it has uh, three settings one two and three I'll go over them in a moment you see it back there I have it uh, attached to my uh, Yeti 400 battery so this 12 volt fan will run off the Yeti battery it'll run off your regular you know car 12 volt uh, adapter and it'll also run off my solar 12 volt so I can run this off my solar battery as well if I'm uh, boondocked somewhere uh, for a long this a long period of time this fan will run so what I wanted to do today is just show you um, go over a couple go over a couple highlights on this fan uh, we got um, again it's a fantastic fan a division of Atwood mobile products made in the USA um, it says Dometic on the back so I don't know if Dometic owns the company or not. Um, it says Dometic Corporation. I'm not sure. Um, this particular model fan, you could also get a um, an AC-DC converter, uh, so you could plug it into the wall as well. So I'm going to look into getting that and add that on uh, to uh, this kit. Uh, it's fantasticvent.com is the website, but. Uh, I believe my daughter purchased this on Amazon for me. Uh, it was uh, sixty-three dollars, I, I believe. Uh, so this is one of my this is my Christmas present from her. So we got instant airflow, high air volume. It's portable. It's lightweight. It's freestanding. It's multi-purpose, variable speeds, and a low amp draw, which I like. On low, it only draws 1.18 amps. On medium, 1.62 amps. And on high 2.59 amps this will run perfect um, on my Yeti battery or even my uh, my solar battery it's got a handle at the top let's take a look at it bring it here I have it plugged in now so it's got a handle at the top it's also got these little uh, bars that that crisscross out that you could hang it by let me see if you can see that Get a little closer for you Again, it's got these um, little bars right here that you can move. You could put them in or put them out and hang it. They have a picture of it showing hanging off like a pet cage. And you got a handle here. Uh, here are your speeds at the top. Zero, one, two, and three. Again, there's the um, label. Your bottom feet fold in to be out of the way. If you have it hanging or they fold out and they've got some little rubber rubberized feet at the bottom and there's two of them again there's the specs on it right there you can see okay um, a great addition to the bug out vehicle or to any you know to any vehicle to have especially down here in uh, South Florida to keep cool um, this is going to be great I'll turn it on now and um, that's speed one. I don't know if you guys could hear that. It's very quiet. I'll stop talking for a minute so you could hear it. Actually on the first speed it gives a good amount of air. If this was propped up by my bed while I was laying down uh, or just hanging out reading, you know, this would be good. You know, if you even if you had the doors closed and cranked down a window a little bit, it it would definitely move some air inside your vehicle. 
Uh, let's bump it up to second speed. Second speed, you get a good amount of air again. Once you're inside the van with the door shut, you could definitely feel it. I had it on the other night. I had it actually standing on top of the um, Dometic uh, refrigerator there, uh, right there. And I had it blowing towards the passenger seat where my wife was sitting and she said it was, um, she was getting a good amount of air inside the vehicle while we were eating some pizza with the vehicle turned off. And then third speed, Again, you can hear it, it's a little louder, but that does, shouldn't bother me as long as, uh, you know, I'm keeping cool. That's the main thing, I'm getting some air circulation. And then I bump it down to one. And then there's off. And like I told you guys, this is, um, you can see in the back there, I'll move the fan, try to get a better shot. But I've got my Yeti battery uh, right there. Yeah, see if I can zoom in. Let's see if I can zoom in. So I have it hooked to the Yeti battery right there, the 12 volt outlet, and that's what's running the fan right now. Okay, so that's the uh, Endless Breeze fan. Looking forward to using it uh, in the vehicle, carrying it. I'm gonna keep it in the vehicle. It's gonna be with me. So I have it wherever I go. And um, just wanted to get that out there. 12 volt uh, fan. A lot of guys have these um, in their vehicles and uh, I, I see why now. Uh, they're very well made. They seem to be very well made and um, seem to be very reliable. So. I'll do further reports on that as I use it more, but today's video was to just get that out there and uh, let you guys see it. Um, again, there's some of the applications they have for it, you know, there I told you about it hanging on the, the pet cage with those little hooks, and then, you know, in the RV. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll put the links in the description box for this. And uh, I'm gonna do some more videos, update on the uh, refrigerator saga that I have going on with the battery. Actually, I'm gonna do a video on that now, the next video. So stay ready, guys, take care. Uh, make it a great day, stay safe. Uh, Anthony signing off.